Hey guys, it's Brandon. All right, today I made myself my 10, or I set up my 10 gallon aquarium. Yay! This was the one I had in my garage, and I decided it's time to do something with it. So, set it up in my room on my nice antique dresser here. Um, I put nice backdrop. I put one and a half inches of aqua our pool filter sand on here. And I'm going to use that as a bed for plants. I'm going to make this kind of a nice, um, just kind of a growing kind of a tank for for plants and maybe a couple different fishes. I'm not really sure yet. So I did take one of the ZoomEd 501s, put it on here, mostly for circulation because I really don't need filtration right now because it's just going to be mainly plants. And I did make my own CO2 setup over here. This is just stuff. Literally stuff I had around the house, and it is pretty amazing so far. Uh, I should kind of explain what's going on here. I have a large, um, this was a vinegar bottle. Um, have water in here. What you're going to want to do is, if you want to build one of these, dissolve a quarter cup, or a quarter ounce rather, of yeast in hot water until it foams. Fill this with half warm water. Dissolve in one and a half cups of sugar and one teaspoon of baking soda. When you have the um, the yeast dissolved in the hot water, add that to this mix or when the yeast starts bubbling, add it to here. So that yeast is now alive and active and eating the sugars. There's one and a half cups of sugar in here. So this should last me about seven weeks on this one tank for CO2. So when those yeasts eat that sugar, they release uh, CO2. In the top of this lid, it's a airproof or airtight seal. And uh, the top here is a hose. I did put a bit of silicone around the top and bottom of the cap. The same with this. Um, this is a bubble count basically is what they're called. Um, you can see the air coming in, the CO2 coming in. It's actually coming a lot faster right now than it was. That's pretty good. And this comes back up through a check valve so it's only one one direction only to the tank. And then I Wrapped it around the tank, so you see the little line there. I ran it with the same clips as the um, the 501 to the back there. So let's go to the side. There it is. Yeah, that's a perfect view. And then I took two wire ties and I wire tied it to the bottom of the outflow of my 501. Now I wanted I want to find a CO2 diffuser to get smaller bubbles. This is actually doing a really really good job so far. Um, it's very cheap. So all all the air coming out there, every one of those bubbles is coming out of out of this setup. There is no electricity powering any part of it. It is all um, yeast. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of plants in here, and that is going to make this tank really really nice it's going to be a lot of happy plants with this little setup i think um if you have any comments questions uh let me know in the bottom like and subscribe and i'll shout at you guys later bye